This is a story about something that I've noticed happen on my videos for like the last few months. Ever since I've been uploading videos, I've started to notice these things <laughs> appear in my videos. Like little lights, kind of. Almost like these little see-through things, kind of like moving <laughs> back and forward in seemingly intelligent ways that I wouldn't imagine some kind of like visual distortion would, would show up as. This story is about what people typically call orbs. Orbs show up in all kinds of different ways and they show up not just visually, like in terms of like video and photographic evidence, they show up in all kinds of different places, in all kinds of stories that have to do with the supernatural, with paranormal, with ghosts and things of that degree. I've been interested in this story since uh, since about, I don't know, probably like 20 years ago or something I think was the first time I ever remember seeing that kind of story. So ever since that time, like I've become aware of this phenomena of orbs. The orbs are always talked about as being related to ghost phenomena, that they are literally the shape of various people who are deceased, who are showing up in spirit form in a manner that expresses itself only in the lightest degree, almost like the little hint of their energy visually showing up either in photographic or video evidence where you see these things. I've seen all kinds of orb videos and orb photographs by this point. I've taken a lot myself. To this day, I have no idea whether or not this is in fact like an actual phenomenon or if this is just some sort of like collective distortion that people are misidentifying in like photographic errors as being spirits. But I do know ever since I've been making these videos that I've seen these orbs in a lot of the videos that I've been making. In fact, I would say almost every single video has at least one or two in them, at least left on the cutting room floor, if not in like absolutely strange places <laughs> that I don't intend for them to generally be. It's not something I'm like putting into the videos because if anything it's distracting from the point of what I'm trying to talk about. So a lot of the time they just kind of like appear whenever, wherever they are, which leads me to the conclusion that perhaps these orbs aren't really anything intelligent whatsoever. It's just random. They're not really like spirits or anything of the sort. They're just kind of like, you know, whatever they are. <laughs> a lot of people have claimed that they think it's dust. That when you see them, at least generally in a lot of videos, it does look like it's just dust floating around. It gets too close to the camera and then you see it in a kind of like abstract sort of way. So it looks like it's not what it actually is. That phenomena is something I can dismiss for a majority of it because majority of the times when I see these orbs appear, the only reason I'm really paying attention to them is either because of how slow or how fast or how abstract and intelligent they seem to move. They will create like triangles, they will stop at right angles and then just turn midair. Sometimes they'll start fast and then just stop, slow down and move in a different direction. They act as if they're intelligent. And so that was the first conclusion I made. I've made a couple videos on it already, just showing people like the kind of things that I've seen because I'm like, well, this is just really weird. Like this is just really strange stuff. I have literally interacted with spirits like on a regular basis at this point right now for like the last, I don't even know, like eight years or so, I've been consciously interacting with Sarah. Before that, I was unconsciously interacting with Sarah, my spirit guide, my entire life in some respect, one way or another. I remember even when I was a child, I used to lie on my mattress at night. It was long before I had any kind of technology in my room. I didn't even have a radio in there. And I was just very young and I would lie there at night and I could feel this sensation, this kind of like creepy kind of like feeling at night when I would lie there. This is not an uncommon story for I would imagine most people in the world. Most people in the world when they were kids, they usually have stories of being afraid of the dark, afraid of the basement, afraid of the attic, afraid of the closet or under the bed. They would think that there was monsters in there. This is kind of on par with that, 
But I know that when I woke up in my Kundalini experience, I started to have these sensations again when I was lying quietly in my room at night. I don't have them all the time, but sometimes when I'm lying, they're very, very still and quiet in a relaxed poise. I feel them. It's almost like that relaxation kind of like allows my energy field to stretch out, like the subtle, finer parts of me to, to stretch out to such a degree, it's just touching the very edge of something. Like I'm not consciously seeing or experiencing other than that kind of just graze against them. Because of the kind of experiences I've had with Sarah, because of the kind of experiences I've had with spirits around me, I know I'm interacting with spirits, physically speaking. I've seen Sarah. I've heard her tap on walls. I've heard her snap walls. I've heard her bang on the side of the house before. I have seen her actually physically move things before. I've seen her misplace objects on purpose in ways I know that it was her. It wouldn't be there, and when I went to go look for it again, it would be in the exact same spot I just looked for it. I've seen even more crazy things than that, that to this day, when I think about, make no physical sense how certain things that she's shown me can actually exist. They're on par with like, like slips in reality. From my physical mind, they just don't make any sense in terms of like, like how I understand physics to work, nor would they for the majority of people. That's a subject for another time because it gets into a whole other subtopic about things. Based on those experiences, when these orbs appeared in my videos, I was very, very conscious that <laughs> these things could be nothing, but because of what I've been seeing, they just look like they fit in with the overall story of what kind of things I'm going through. Then I saw this. And when I saw it, I realized, wait, this just looks like my hand or something is creating some kind of like reflective glare or something. I don't know if this is gonna work if I try it now. Maybe it will. And then I created like the image of one of these orbs. But the orb moves in the exact procession that my hand does in front of the camera. When I look at the rest of these things, most of the time I'm like not moving and nothing around in my environment is moving. Everything in my room is like stationary while I'm recording these things. And so I know it doesn't necessarily always correspond to like some light aberration that I'm affecting because you can see what my body is doing. And my legs are essentially stationary in just like a relaxed prose like it is. If I put these things together, maybe there's some digital component or something in the camera that's actually affecting it. Or there's two versions and there are the false creations of like glares and, and artifacting that can occur like in digital photography. And there's also like the legitimate version where the camera is literally picking up something, something that we generally can't see with like our naked eye. It just kind of leaves me with that question. Like I guess it does a lot of people, whether or not these things are actual spirit beings. The explanation, supernaturally speaking, is that when you die, essentially, you are just a ball of light. I've heard this story many, many times, like especially in like alien abduction literature too. Like one, one story I heard was when this, um, this woman was abducted by the greys, uh, she was brought into this room, was introduced to her daughter but the daughter was just literally like this ball of like light and nothing else and if you think about it like in a physics kind of sense like that is the shape of our reality it's just like a sphere that ball has height depth width three components that make up our 3d reality if you think about it in the most basic rudimentary sense that is the shape of a living life form from the spirit realm expressing their non-physicality in the most basic form of physicality that can exist in our reality. Essentially just a ball of light. The most basic shape with like the very point of what spirit I assume looks like in our physical reality without any kind of densification or with very little densification. If you think of those orbs those orbs essentially represent like what those people look like in terms of what our cameras and what our footage can like capture 
it, it's just capturing kind of like that ball of light but in the most rudimentary form so in a certain sense it comes off like a little bit more like ground down a little bit it looks a lot smaller and a lot more potent a lot of times like you can see it a lot more clearly than if it were like that larger ball of light which seems to be only visual when you're in a particular state of being. I have heard people say they've seen orbs too, physically speaking, with their own eyes, but I've also seen footage, much like the footage I just showed you, where there is like a sunset or like a sunrise or someone just shooting themselves out, and then there's an orb that moves in conjunction with the movement of the camera in that light. And so now that I've seen those things, I know I'm familiar that there is both ways to look at it. And I'm not making any clear assumptions about anything. I just know and I can state honestly that I have seen, like I have seen Sarah physically speaking as a spirit sitting on the sofa downstairs. I have interacted with her in lots of very paranormal kind of ways. So I know those things are real. It's not too far to conclude that these orbs actually are real, but I really can't say for certain. A lot of people have these kinds of experiences and they are related to like like hauntings or places that are known to be very affluent for like spirits. I've seen all kinds of things where orbs have literally moved around haunted areas and have affected like technology within the footage. I don't have anything so dramatic to show you. I'm just making this video to discuss basically what I'm showing you, that these things show up in a lot of my footage. And sometimes they don't seem to be there whatsoever. Other times they seem to be very, very active. I don't know if there's any correlation to like the time cycles or the constellations or anything like astrological like that. There might be, there might be heightened energy periods for all I know where they manifest even more strongly. Or like I said, it could just be like digital phenomena that are essentially errors in the camera. I guess I'm gonna leave it there. Again, as like another mystery. I really couldn't say one way or the other what these orbs really are, whether or not they're intelligent or not, wouldn't surprise me. Because I know that I interact with a lot more than Sarah when I'm talking to Sarah. I interact with a lot of different people and a lot of different beings. And I know when that sort of creepy feeling returned in my bedroom, I could feel that it wasn't just one person who was there. It felt like there were several. There were like a few people who were there around me. And if you're hearing these words, just know that that's a very common thing for people to have in their story. You're never just like surrounded by one or two people. There, there are usually like a few of them that are around you pretty regularly. And if you're open enough, regardless of the reality of orbs, there are people there who are like having a conversation, if you will, with you. My name is Summer Wind. If you like these videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below and let me know if you've had your own experiences or share a link to a video that you have on YouTube. I know personally I've like shared like a bunch of them and you can probably find links at the end of this video to some of the other orb videos that I have, but it still remains kind of like a mystery to me. One that I'm willing to leave at sort of an in-between right now where I'm not completely sure one way or the other, whether they actually are or aren't spirit beings. I guess I'll leave that question to all of you.